So this is some of the debris washed up on the side of the road here. This is the bridge here is over uh, Rock House Creek. So it's tight just before you get in the edge mount. And little forest service buildings area. You can see the watermark on the on the center block, the bottom of that building there, and the sand that was left behind. So based on this debris, this bridge was topped by probably a combination of Rock House and Wilson Creek based on the flooding between them too. Um, but Rock House is just kind of a little tributary and these trees and all this damage is on the upstream Rock House side. And I've fished Rock House quite a bit. Um, this isn't a big creek, folks. This, this, this is, there it is. I mean, that's pretty normal, but somehow it had enough water to do that. And normally it's your you knee deep or so wading, some shallow spots. You got a couple of deep holes you got to work around. But, uh, Summertime, it's just a pair of shorts and wading boots and you're fishing in this thing and it's it, It's hard to even tell <clears throat> Exactly how deep that was but it does appear that it came completely over the top of the bridge And based on the sand and the trees, it's that would that sounds that looks about right and the damage This side What I was talking about where Wilson is coming in where, where it's coming to Wilson. So Wilson was already up here. So it's a possibility that Wilson Creek could have backed Rock House up and made it that deep. It, it's just, it's just hard to tell. All the debris, all the trees swept downstream. The creek bed is just scoured. Kind of. And where it started to recede, there was just, there was sand everywhere. You see over there in that little field, it might not have gotten as much water. But you can see where it cut the bank, cut the bank down on the other side of Wilson. And I think that's the bridge that they had to replace right there. I think right where Wilson and Rock House come together is where the bridge from upstream at the Baptist Church ended up. So that's uh, 125, 150 yards at least. That's one, two, three. That's four still I-beams and hmm, this might be four by six <clears throat> pressure treated top on that thing four before post on the side. Yeah, it just ripped it from the abutments and floated it down there. 